Welcome back everybody, Drin 608 Clays. We're playing Xenonauts 2 here. They just updated the early access. We're now at 4.22. Um, they found a couple of other things that were uh, hanging the game, so they made a quick patch to take care of those. Um, we are going to take ourselves right up to month end to try and get our soldiers uh, as fully healed as we can before we go into this to take on the base. I do want to take the base out before the end of the month because it'll give me extra money. So we're going to just kind of spin along here. Um, I do have an airplane going over to USA so I'm kind of waiting for it to get there. There we go. Alien Origins, this gives me more money. After carefully monitoring many hours of transmissions from the captured Mentark, I successfully gained access to the hyperdrive systems and the precious navigational data within. The contents were somewhat of a surprise. I have struggled for some time to understand how hyperdrive technology could possibly function across interstellar distances. The energy required increases with range, and even a jump from the closest star systems, roughly five light years, would require unfathomable amounts of energy. The truth is simple. Our primitive minds fundamentally misunderstood the purpose of the hyperdrive. Our alien foes are not using the device to traverse our universe. Instead, they are remaining in roughly the same physical location and jump across the multiverse. Explaining the concept of multidimensional travel succinctly is difficult, but it appears a great many alternate dimensions are actually far closer to us in terms of energy expenditure required to reach them than Proxima Centauri. Our enemies thus also originate from Earth, but the Earth of a distant dimension that may differ greatly from our own. These Eternals seem to be interdimensional explorers, searching the multiverse for worlds where multicellular life has evolved. It appears only a handful of such dimensions exist, out of many thousands recorded within the hyperdrive. I suspect the various alien species we have encountered were once the dominant life forms on their worlds, only to be conquered and enslaved by the Eternals. Each represents a different evolutionary path for Earth, and had, had chance unfolded differently. At the center of this hyperdrive map sits the Eternal homeworld, the seat of their empire from which the invasion must originate. We must eventually attack this world if we are to triumph, yet we know too little about our foes to identify where this should blow should fall. Capturing alien units, particularly high-ranking ones, for interrogation should solve this problem, furnishing us with sufficient information to devise a suitable plan of attack. Okay, so now I have to capture an alien officer alive for interrogation. All right, we need to put... Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do a couple of autopsies and then we'll do UFO help pointing. Let's do something on the Manteds, shall we? Because that'll pop up before the month end. I just have my engineers building me stuff because everything I can build in engineering um, is way too expensive. I mean, I could build a laser pistol, but none of the other laser rifles. I don't need any accelerated weapons. Uh, stun guns, I already have two. Can't afford anything in, as far as vehicles, aircraft, air weapons, base upgrades. Um, in the vehicles, I could make some new cannons, but, I mean, they're very expensive. <laughs> so I just don't have the money to do it. So I'm going to have to wait till the beginning of the next month to do a bunch of this stuff. So we're going to speed up time again. Try and get us through... Okay, so I have Angel 4 at the USA base. Okay, autopsy for the Manted. <clears throat> Manteds are an alien species that appears in sectoid in origin. Their small stature and fragile uh, chitinous shell I mean their bodies are remarkably light. None of the recovered corpses weighs more than 50 kilograms. The biology of the creatures is fascinating. They possess delicate fingers that can easily manipulate weapons and tools, yet maintain four articulated legs and a strange hybrid circulatory system. The shape of their jaws suggests that they are herbivorous descent, yet they can still generate sufficient force to sever a human limb in a single bite. However, possibly their most noteworthy feature is the large compound eyes situated on either side of the head. Their accuracy is a 60. Uh, these appear to grant Mentids an extremely wide field of view, allowing these creatures to monitor large swathes of the battlefield for enemy movement, and making them exceedingly difficult to sneak up on. Mentids also possess well-developed brains and are likely to be surprisingly intelligent. 
A number of the control systems recovered from crashed UFOs appear to be adapted for mantid use, perhaps implying the extraterrestrials utilize them as pilots. Thankfully, mantid physiology is somewhat limits their threat. Their titan skull can easily be cracked or broken, and without bones or other internal structures to protect their organs, they are left highly vulnerable to the many hazards of the battlefield. Perhaps unsurprisingly, mantids are reportedly rather skittish under fire. Okay, so got that done. Um, I just guess I'll go get UFO plating started. It's going to take me into the next month, but at least it'll be early in the month that I'll get it. Um, there's something in here now. Corpses. I I'm going to stop making money and I'm going to go ahead and do this. I think it gives me an advantage on shooting at them or something. Can't remember what the what I get out of it, and we'll speed up time again. I'm just trying to get to got somebody completely recovered. Let's check my soldiers here. This captain is the one that's got me worried. She's only at 81 percent, so hopefully she'll get up to full in the next day or two. Waiting for something to happen. Okay, I think I'm just going to let the engineers make money. I can do a second one, but I think I'm just going to sit and do money. Should I do the second one? I don't know what they give me. I need 20. Okay. I guess it makes me do more damage to them. Okay. Uh, it's not going to get anywhere. How are my soldiers doing? 99. He's going to be full up. She's not. She has such a nice capability that I'm going to leave her alone. All right, we're going to get into, like, the very beginning of the 90th day, I guess. And then we'll go to do the alien base. What's my time? I'm only seven minutes in. Up, oh, ah, here. We've got a UFO. Okay, this is a medium. I Let's go send all of our guys off to there. Oh, this one's got a fighter with it. <clears throat> okay, we're going to commence attack. I've got two here I've got to go after. Um, Angel 1 is going to go over here. Angel 2 is going to go here. Angel 3 is going to go there. Um, let's save. Uh, we'll fire one set of missiles. Save your missiles for a second. Okay. Angel 3, you're going to, yeah, no, I want Angel 3 to move, I don't want Angel 2 to move. Is it going to get hit? Okay, I took a little bit of damage on Angel 3. But that's good enough. Alright, we're going to go here. I can't... I really want to go get the base. I don't think I'll have enough time to launch the combat team. Let's close this down. I don't know if he's going to stay anywhere where I can see him. Probably not. Okay. Uh, 
I can't get there and here. So I think I'm only 10 minutes in. Well, the base will be there. I don't know if I can get here and get to the base too. Maybe we'll go get the scout. We might not get to the base before the end of the thing. Let's go get the scout. All right. And 10 minutes. We're going to run a little long. We're going to go do the scout battle. It usually takes about a half an hour to 45 minutes to do uh, a recovery. Scouts have less troops, so we should be okay. Just got to try to not get anybody too badly injured on the way. Uh, so I'm not going to be too careful about just blowing things up if I have to. Come on. All right, let's see what we do here. It's stuck at 90%. Don't oh no. <laughs> There we go. All right. First things first. Okay, we're in a corner. And there's a little guy out there. Am I going to get shot if I move here? There's two little guys out here. Okay. I think I'm going to have the shield guy step out one step. Take a look. Both ways. Doesn't look like there's anybody here. Scout's going to be probably up over there. So I'm thinking of bringing him this way. I suppose I could have this. Could have the tank go up here. Oh, they'll shoot the tank, huh? Don't shoot the guy, but they'll shoot the tank. Let's see if we can drop a missile to get them both. I know I'm going to lose some some weapons and stuff by doing this, but uh, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. All right, uh, let's move the shield guy up here. I'm going to move this. No! I want this guy to move here. And I'm going to have the shield guy kneel down. I'm going to have the heavy gunner. Where'd he go? I'm just trying to get them suppressed. Okay, I got one and got one suppressed. That means I can take this guy. I don't know, can I shoot him from here? 56%, I'll kneel so I have a 60%. Did some damage, but not enough. I'm gonna bring the marksman out here. I hit the wall. Should have taken him up to the wall. Alright, and then they're kind of out in the open, so I'm going to move over here. To try and shield them some. Oh, the tank can't really do much except kind of keep an eye out. Uh, so this guy can move up to here. I've got another laser rifle, dude. Let's see, I've got the heavy. Oh, the heavy gunner can't really do anything. Even my pistol can't fire, right? Okay. 
so I just need to kneel down. Uh, sniper is in a bad position wherever he goes. There is a ladder over there. Uh, don't really want to stick my nose out too far. Okay, there's one way off in the distance. I don't think my sniper can get to him. Oh, damn it! Misclicked. I hate it when I misclick. 68 there. Sixty-eight. Now, what if I kneel? Seventy-five percent chance. See if I can hit him. Got him. Okay, that's good. Because this guy's in vulnerable now. That's going to be the end of the first turn. Okay. See where they come from. There's friendlies running around. Bad guys over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're done. I think they got the guy with the gun. Okay, so we've got somebody over here. I don't know where the ship is. Uh. The shield up here. Lots of roofs over here. Now we're going to kneel down here. And I'm going to take this laser rifle. Why did you run through the what fight? I really wish they wouldn't pad them that way. They do that on purpose. It's like they're trying to get you to... See? They're forcing you to go that way. Garbage. I'm going to go up against the house. Kneel down that way. Uh, I guess I need to move the tank up a bit. There's one way over there. I'm not going to be able to get to him. So I don't think even my sniper can get to him. So we're going to put the sniper here, get out his pistol, kneel. He's going to move up and kneel so he's not going to hit him if he shoots. Uh... Do I want to worry about the back door or just go for the... No, oh, that thing's going to shoot me if I go out there. So, you... I'm going to have the tank move to here. Face off this way. I'm going to put a laser rifle... Maybe right... Side the tank. Face up this way. Up. Oh. Seeing that one. Can he hit him? 20% chance. Well, if he can hit him, he can hit me. I'm a little worried about the back door here, but I'm going to run over here. I might as well just kneel because I have nothing else. Alright. Oh. I can shoot my stun gun if something comes around the corner. Oh, who's this? Oh, yeah, my heavy gunner. Oh, dear. He's got to get himself under cover here. He can still take a three-burst shot out there somewhere. All right, uh, there we go. 
they come sweeping from the left, I've got problems. I think he's going to have died from his bleeding wound. He might have gotten an enemy. All right, we know there's one up here somewhere. There he is. Um, who are you? You're a laser gun? One coming back from that direction, but we're gonna go here, kneel, move you up to here, kneel and shoot that one. We're gonna move the shield back to here, and kneel. And then this is the sniper, he's gonna go up on the roof, try and take a look. There's the scout over there. All right, we're going to move him. He's got to have 40 to shoot, huh? All right, he's going to have to go up here with a pistol, I guess. And Neil. Um, so I've knocked out one, two, three, four. I guess we need to move the tank out a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I'm not getting sweeped from behind. Alright, let's spin around. I assume I'm not having anything coming from that direction. Shotgun. Can't get anywhere good. Put you on the corner here. I think I'm going to move the heavy gunner this way. Laser gunners. And a rifle. Okay, she doesn't move real fast, so she's just going to move up to here. Face off this way. He doesn't move real good either. Uh, do I need to be looking back? I think I'm going to have to look back. Okay. And we're done. See where did I come from? We've taken out four. These people are idiots. Should... Well, he got one. I think he killed a couple out here. Okay. Um, well, shield guy, you need to go check this out. <laughs> down there. Bring the her up here. Kneel down. This guy. A heavy gun. I can go here and have a three round burst if something pops up from behind. Uh, only got 53. You got 75.
Doesn't look like there's anything in there. <sighs> All right, let's uh, move the tank up a bit. See anything off that way? So I'm gonna move him. Be back here to double check this building. Doesn't look like there's anything in the building. Come out here and kneel. Get the other shotgun. And it come over here, here's a snapshot. If something shows up. You are a laser rifle. Move her up there and kneel. I'm gonna put this guy here, and I'm gonna have him face off this way. He's kind of my backdoor guard. Alright, there we go. Oh, I haven't moved the sniper. Uh, do I want to get up on that roof? I want to probably get up on that roof. Can I get down here? I can't jump. I can't jump off the roof. How rude! Not letting me jump off the roof over there. Okay. It's going to take me a couple turns to get over there. They're doing dumb things again. Okay. Um, can I get the sniper to the... He can get there. Okay, so you're going to come up here. You're going to look in this building. Doesn't look like anybody's in the building. Come up here. Is there anybody on this side of the building? Doesn't look like it. Oh, doesn't look like there's anybody on the building here. Um, you move the laser rifle here and have her face this way and kneel so she can take a real good shot um, this guy can get all the way to here can't get up the ladder till next turn I'll put the heavy gunner here for now just in case All right, do we need to clear these buildings? Laser person probably on this corner. I think they're all left in the in the thing now. Um, I don't have anybody back here. What if I have the tank? Just run back here. I'm going to have it run around back here and check that out. 
and this is my back door guy. Kind of watching our backs. Just in case I missed something back there. And we're done. And like I've said in the past, this is not a pizza delivery thing. You're not in a hurry. You want to clear the enemies wherever you can find them. This guy's not finding any enemies, so I don't think there's anything left back here. Uh, so we're going to... Try and check out where they might be. Okay, there's one dead one here. That was thanks to the civilian. Looks like we've got a clear shot there. I don't think I can turn... Oh, I can turn around enough to see that. Okay, looks like we've got a clear back door here. So that's fine. Uh, you're going to go up. I'm going to put you, like, right here. What do you need to shoot that gun? You need 40. So I'll put you here so you can kneel. Still provide us cover. Okay, now it's moving on to the... seeing anything from over there. So that means I can put two people up here, put a laser rifle there, and kneel. And put this laser rifle here. It's not going to be able to shoot, but it's going to kneel. Look off in that direction. We're going to have the assaults continue to clear back here just to be safe. Okay, I think we have everything cleared. That's everybody moved up. Oh, nope, I didn't move the heavy gunner up. He's got to move up. He's not going to have anything but his pistol. And Neil. Won't be able to shoot, but I don't care. I want to be down. I want to be kneeling. In case they come out. I will end the turn. Now we'll assault the... Oh, come on. So now we just need to get up here to get ready to assault. Right? We'll have the tank. Come up. Can't get any farther. Um, who are you? You're a shotgun. You're a rifle. Just to be safe, you're going to turn around and kneel facing back that way. I can get you like on the door. Neo. Laser rifle. Put you on this side. Neo. Another laser rifle. Oh, I want to put the heavy gunner right behind the shield. Neo. Three round burst. And we'll put this laser rifle over here. 
In case there's one hiding there that I don't know about. And sniper. I'm gonna move you over to like here. You're gonna turn and you're gonna kneel. Okay, I don't think there's anything outside the UFO. All right, everybody's moved and turn. Now, I'm pretty sure the sniper's not going to be able to shoot from where he's at, am I? I don't think he can get down. God, it makes me run all the way over there. Alright, well, the sniper's not going to get a shot. We're not going to do the sniper. We're going to get this done. I think I have everybody close enough that can deal with this. So we're going to open the door. And we've got a Mentark and a dude. So I need to have... Me... Probably... God, what am I going to do here? Can't close the door. She's got 75. Can she make one step and not get shot? Nope. Damn it! Alright, she's got to heal herself. Step back. She can... She can still throw a flashbang to make them not do that anymore. She can't do anything else. She's in the way. Um, I can throw this there. And I can move to here. Or to here. Shoot him. And miss. I'm in the way. Rid of him. Oh, there's another one back there, huh? All right. Twenty-three. It's just enough. That should be it. Got one person wounded. I was hoping I could take a step out. I should have had her starting there, so she could have just thrown the. The thing right away before we opened the door. Wasn't paying attention. It's little mistakes like that that'll cost you problems. But hopefully she's not going to be out like wounded for days. And we can still go back and get the base. Come on, come on, load me up. It's my time. Yeah, I'm at 38 minutes. 16 days. I might have to get a different laser rifleman to go in the base. Okay, I don't care. Um, get us back to base. Stop the time. Uh, let's look at our soldiers. Did she leave the boat? She left the boat. Alright, who do I have that's almost as good as her? She was... Lots of time units. Not quite as accurate, not quite as many time units has the strength to carry everything. Not as good as accuracy. Good time units. No. 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 Not many time units. Okay, so not many time units on the people that I have left here. What's he got? Uh, if I was to make him a laser rifle gunner... With that, uh, yeah, I like having him in there, so I'm going to put him in the Skyhawk, even though he's a little bit wounded. Um, 
Okay, we're going to stop here. Uh, we will come back and fly off to try and do the base mission next. So that's what we'll do next time. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified to upload videos and schedule streams. I do have two other, uh, three other playthroughs that are blind. Well, not blind. They're uninformed playthroughs. Baldur's Gate 3 by Larian Studios. Rogue Trader by Alcat Games. And Battletech by Harebrained Schemes, I think they're called. Um, so check out the channel for those. I have Saturday morning streams for Pathfinder Kingmaker. Uh, it's a fan choice of me playing a female monk trying to uh, romance Tristan. So, and we're over halfway through that one now, I believe. We're at the like the halfway point in that one. So, that one will conclude relatively, hopefully before the end of the year, streaming once a week. And then there's this game. This is Milestone 4.22. You can get this up on Steam. It is early access. Um, it is. Uh, I mean, it's worth playing. They're going to make it. They're going to make a lot more tweaks and upgrades to this. Um, they're going to add in. They're going to be redoing the air combat to be much more uh, dynamic, from what I understand. They're going to be doing a lot of work on that. And then they still have a little bit more to do on the storytelling and the pacing. They're still working on whether you're getting stuff too fast or too slow. And that's what a lot of us playtesters are doing. I'm one of the original Kickstarters, so. Uh, I've been with this game since they first started messing with it. So, okay. All right. I'm John 608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye bye.